We want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. And we are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, meaning we are the people of the Bible. All right. And uh, there's a brotherhood that is actually built amongst the believing men of this truth. If one of you brothers could get 1 John 4 and verse 14. And then if one of you brothers want to get 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 15. We'll do the 1 John 4, 14 first. Because uh, yeah. we have a purpose. I mean, we have a purpose being in this truth. This ain't just to kill time or do something on the weekend. All right. The brotherhood is actually the sheep of the Lord. That's why he said, they'll hear my voice, his sheep, and they'll follow his word. All right. And that's what we come out with is his word, not our own personal personal interpretation, but with his word. And we are moved by the Holy Spirit. All right. Go ahead, brother. First John 4 and 14. Yeah, and yeah, I want you to read the 21. This is first John 4 and verse 14. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shah is the son of the Most High, the Most High do live with him, and he right. and the Most High. Through the Spirit, right? That's why we're able to testify that the Spirit of uh, Yahweh Shah is to prophesy, which is uh, Revelation 19 and 11. Go ahead. It says, verse 16. And we have known and believed that the love that the Most High has to us, the Most High is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in the Most High, and the Most High in him. Right. Here in. in what? No, you got it, bro. Oh, I was just gonna say that's that's being in that order. We're we're getting in order, all right. And love is obedience, so you're obeying the order which the Lord set up the the leadership, the apostleship, and you get that with Romans 1. That's written in many places in the New Testament of the leadership being set up as Yahweh was the Messiah, and he sent them out to go preach the gospel. And here we are in the very last days, and we got that spirit upon us. We're not just doing this because, you know, we, we came together and we built this brotherhood like a like a gang or like a biker gang or like anything else in the world. This is actually a spiritual movement of faith. We all have faith. That's what the brotherhood is based on, is faith on the word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh shine. Go ahead, brother. Verse uh, 17 says, Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is right. no fit. I was just gonna say, what did Yahweh Shai come to do? He came to, to to actually free us spiritually from the bondage of, of our sin, which is gonna lead us to death. But through his sacrifice, are we able to be comforted with the hope of life? You see? So just in the same fashion. Uh, you call grab over diet last verse, okay. verse 18. All right. We're doing the same thing as Yahweh Shai. We, we're going out and preaching to our people. Now, we know through the prophecy, two thirds will reject this truth. But for the brothers that have faith, that's what we live for. That's what we exist for is to, is to feed the sheep of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai with what is necessary for. Repentance. Go ahead. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 21. 21. And the Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord. Right. So that's what's happening right now. Those saviors are the elect remembering themselves, and we're actually going to be joined with Yahweh Shai and be like he is in the sky. Go ahead, Halakit, brother. 
This is uh first John chapter one, I mean four and uh eighteen. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts about fear. Because fear hath torment, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. Right. We love meaning they don't understand. Uh they don't the the men that are moved in fear, all right, is the fear is overwhelming that instead of faith, they don't understand what they're involved in. This is a faith based movement through the spirit. Of Yahweh Shem Shai, and we're moved to do the things that we are doing. That's why, if, if, if your spirit is bucking up against it, you don't have the Holy Spirit upon you. If you if if you did, you would just join in, just like flowing water. Flowing water would just join in together into one big massive river. You see, so this is great. how we know. Go ahead, brother. No, 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 my bad, go ahead, my bad, my bad, you got it. That's how we know who's moving through the spirit. They're able to understand and even communicate back uh, what we're talking about. Let me grab this real quick. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse uh, 12. Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that go of two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore, shall he not be defended? So, if you're in the spirit of fear, if you're in the spirit of being faint hearted, it's because you truly don't believe, like the brother said. You really don't understand what you're involved in. You really don't understand what it, hey, like Yahweh Shah told us, man, you haven't counted the cost. Because at the end of the day, if you are in this thing and it's fully in this thing, you, you got to know and understand that the word of the Most High is true. And faith, everything that we're about to see happening, everything we're going to have taken away from us, the persecution, so forth and so on. You know, that's a part of what we have to go through as Israelites to get to the kingdom of heaven. You see, and if you if you really longing for the kingdom of heaven, as our righteous forefathers have been, you know what I'm saying? In, the, in that spirit of our righteous forefathers, you would be in the spirit of being excited to see these things happen, not giving a damn about what you lose or what you have to go through. You know, and that's that's the spirit that you're supposed to emit the brothers, man. Just like Judas Maccabees was doing. When his, when his soldiers were feeling weak or whatever, what did he do? Call back into remembrance the acts of our righteous forefathers, man. Let them know that, hey, the most I was with them, you see, because of their faith and their belief, hey, we're doing the same thing. He'll be with us. And that's what we're that's 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 what we're picking up here as we've come back into remembrance of what it really is, man. Knowing and understanding what the most I has promised to do for us, cleaving in the, unto that wholeheartedly in the in the midst of our enemies, not giving a damn about what they come with because we believe and trust. In the word of Yahweh about Shemi Shai, man, and that's what you're supposed to be doing in this body. If you if you're in the spirit of fear, you can't be a part of the body, man, because you really don't believe. Right, and that's why uh, getting understanding is the the most uh, information that you can. You know, is understanding and applying this to our lives, even in our everyday walk at our jobs, and you know, even in our relationships. We got to trust on you, how about sending me outside that he's going to work all things out, him and his son, for good for us, like he promised. Because if uh, you don't believe that, then you don't believe. You really don't believe in the word, you know? And if you move in that spirit of fear, you're liable to do things that are detriment, detrimental to the body, man, to the brothers around you. If you're in the spirit of fear, you will, you will, you will be in the spirit to fucking sell out when the MOTV come. You will, you will be in the spirit to give brothers up when, when this shit start to go down because you really don't you really haven't ingested this thing and, and taken it ser seriously and, and counted the cost. So being in that spirit of fear, man, you, you'll be a danger to everyone around you because in that spirit of fear, you're liable to do uh, things that are contrary to the spirit of Yahweh Shah, man. And that's why the elect is going to be so valuable because just like a precious gem could give someone uh, healing uh, properties or elements of, uh, of comfort or calmness, they could uh, soothe you. They could uh, heal you. They could deflect radiation from you. And gems, we're, we're actually spoken of the, the brotherhood in uh, First Peter chapter 2, which we're going to get after this brother is done with this chapter. And uh, it, it actually calls us lively gem, you know, stones, which we would be gems. And uh, the Lord even said that we're as jewels in Malachi 3. And what do Jews, what do the jewels, of the earth do 
They bring people, you know, uh, feeling of comfort, uh, even being strong, you know, different vibrations you get off of certain stones, you know, and that's how the brothers are. We're very unique, but we're all one body and we all have a, a healing property to us, you know, and that's why really in the last days, all these Israelites that are ordained to be saved, they're going to cleave to us as a stone, as a gem, you know, that's going to comfort them in that time of Jacob's trouble. That's why you got Isaiah 4 and 1, Isaiah 14 and 1, because everybody else, they ain't going to understand what's going on, but the elect that are going to be unmovable because they're like the stone. Uh, uh, do you, go ahead, brother. This is our first John 4 and 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts about fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If a man love, if a man say, I love the most high, I hate of his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he have seen, how can he love the, the most high whom he have not seen? And this is the commandment, oh, so I'm sorry, and this commandment we have from him, that he who loveth the most high love his brother also. And that's what we're doing in this brotherhood of ours that is faith-based, moved by the Holy Spirit. We're showing love for our brethren. We're, we're putting up videos to edify and build them up. And all aspects, really in prophecy, you know, for the main point, but you learn so much, you know, going through these videos, through different brothers' videos, starting with the Apostle Elders, right? You learn and you grow. And what do you learn to grow for? Not to hide your talent in a napkin, keep it for <laughs> yourself, but to share it to men that are able to learn it and go out and teach it for the brotherhood. All right? Now, who, what brother has the first Peter? Chapter well, 2. Is my holding that? Yeah, that would be good. Uh, uh, one verse. Have, God, I got a quick precept, Doc. Okay, bro. Uh, um, just now, you had... We'll start in verse 4, brother, on that First Peter 2. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll grab you a precept. Shabai and any brother got precepts, bring them out. But yeah, just because you had mentioned that we're all unique, you know, in this in this truth, in this, in this uh, brotherhood. This is uh, Romans 12 and 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. So we being many are one body in Hamashiach, and every one members one of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy, prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerf cheerfulness. All right, so, so we all got a just like the engine of a car. The engine <clears throat> of a car is built after the body of a human. And it all works together to make momentum. And that's what we're doing. We're moving in that momentum of prophecy through the Holy Spirit. Now, some brothers. They may have more money than the spirit of prophesying, so that's their part. And then you got some brothers that are ministering. Hey, some brothers make the garments. You know, some brothers have those skills. Some brothers, they know uh, history. Some brothers, they know uh, different languages. But it's all for that momentum of the Holy Spirit to go out and teach this word to the brothers that are moved by the Holy Spirit. If you're not moved by the Holy Spirit, you're not going to understand anything. All right. And the women, really, the women in this truth, all you can see is that we're moving by a higher power. That's all you can see. And that's what's written because you're not given the wisdom and understanding of a man. But we're really actually being moved by the by the supreme being, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit of prophecy, which is a form of power right now. Right? We have a form of power, but it's going to be increased for what? 
for ourselves, no, to protect the brotherhood that we have built, well, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has built in the Holy Spirit, which is that second temple that everybody's talking about. Um, go ahead, brother, and start at that. If you got a pizza, any uh, to, I'm a one, but I got it. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead, I'm a one, but this is uh, First Peter chapter two and verse four. To whom coming as unto a living stone, this allowed indeed of men, but chosen of the most high and precious. Yeah, also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the most high by Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. All right, hold on. Uh, and that's what we're doing. If you go back to the history of all our forefathers, everyone's had to make a sacrifice. Everyone. Everyone had to go through some kind of tribulation and make a sacrifice. And that's what we're going through. We're going through this time of which is eventually going to be Jacob's trouble when they make that implantable microchip mandatory for buying and selling. You're going to have the climax of pretty much Jacob's trouble, which is going to be a time of tribulation, great tribulation. And we're going to have to make a sacrifice whether it be our life, which we're already practicing these sacrifices by today, right now. You know, we got families, we got other things that are on our agenda, but we put those aside just for this duty that the Lord has called us for. You see why? Because we believe in it. If we didn't believe, we wouldn't be able to keep up. Eventually, we would get tired and fall out. You see, because it wouldn't be making sense, but really, for them that are of that brotherhood that are going to be saved under Yahweh Shai, right? They're going to actually believe and then they're going to come to their senses and start to begin to act in a righteous manner. Uh, if you could jump down to verse, uh, go ahead, go ahead, brother. Uh, why don't you read uh, verse 7, jump to 15. Done. All right, so uh, First Peter chapter 2 and verse 6. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Right. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builder disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. And a right. stone so, of stone. I was going to say, you know, you got these two thirds. And we're trying to give them a precious thing of the truth, and they, they can't recognize value. They don't have no understanding of what value is. In fact, they, they stumble over the truth, and they're offended by it. But the ones that have this spirit on them, they're going to understand what we're offering them freely is very valuable. Go ahead. All right. It says... Uh... So I leave off that. The stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Uh, just go to jump down to 15 now. Uh, it says verse 15: For so is the will of the most high, that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Right. So believing is how we just we quench that foolishness of these false prophets. Because does their unbelief make the faith, you know, without effect? No. In fact, it, it actually fulfills the part of them being the two thirds. You know, so we understand why all these things are happening. And that's why we're valuable in this time. All right. It's not because we lifted a thousand pounds. It's not because we, we ran a hundred miles an hour. It's not because we could jump high, any of the, anything like that. It's because we have this information, all right? And if you go back to the Rothschilds, when they came into their uh, money, the way they came into such a great power where they're at now is through information. So understanding the history, you know, the mystery that we're actually receiving the kingdom already. That's why the kingdom is within you. We know what's coming through prophecy. And our children will continue in what we've been doing until the Lord returns. Good. 
got a, a quick precept. Right, bro. So uh, this is Hebrews 4 and 2. It says, for unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Because at the end of the day, it's only been given to the brotherhood, man. You see? The ability to preach the word in all truth and sincerity, the proper way through the Holy Spirit, that's only been given to a few elect souls to do it. You know, this hasn't been given unto the whole nation. And that's that what? That, that's that group of first fruit spirits that the Most High has given, the, given this to through his son, Yahweh Shah. You see? So when we preach this word to the brotherhood, you see, even though if, even if they haven't woken up to the truth yet, once they hear it, they're going to believe upon it and be sealed because it's already in them to get it. You see, they already have that. They, they already have that gift of faith in them. And all they need to do is hear the word. And it's going to be according to the most high's will. The, the brotherhood is going to hear it, man. You see, and be sealed with that Holy Spirit of truth unto salvation. You see, but for everybody else outside of it, they're going to have all these questions. It's, it's going to take them years and years and years. And they still might not even get it. Because it tells you that the most high is going to make those, you see, who are supposed to get it of quick understanding. It, sh it shouldn't have to take you four or five years to come into the the full understanding of what the truth is, man. If, if, if the most high really wants you to get it. Read it one more time, bro. So this is Hebrews chapter four and verse two. For unto us was the gospel preached, mm -hmm. the good news, yep. as well as unto them. Mm -hmm. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith. Because and, and heard it. because unlike the brotherhood, those who didn't have the faith, they, they don't get they don't got what it takes to believe, man. They 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 weren't given that spirit of faith like the rest of us were, man. You see, because the Most High is dealing with what he's dealing with a body of first fruit spirits. That's the brotherhood, man. First and foremost, the, the what the one hundred and forty and four thousand. You see? And then you do have the friends of the prophets. You do have women that the Most High is going to tie to those men, to these different men. But it starts with what? It starts with Yahweh Shah's brotherhood first and foremost, man. You see, the God. men who are doing the highways and byways, making them body a living sacrifice, out there on the forefront of the battlefield, man. You see? Because that's how much faith the Most High is giving them. You see? Was that it? That was it. You got to go. Uh, I got a quick precept, Doc. Right. Okay, just to back up what the brother was just saying, you know, this is only shown to to the Lord shows his you know his secrets, his his mysteries to his prophets before he does anything. So he's only shown, you know, the, the prophets. But this is a uh, second Ezra eight and sixty two. It says, "These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee." Then answered I and said, Behold, O Yahweh, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not showed me. So he just like with Yahweh Shai, that's the only thing that he hasn't given us is the is the day or the hour, but you know, the knowledge, the wisdom, the, the efficient uh knowledge that we have for salvation, you know, he's given to his men, the prophets. Uh -huh. Go ahead, I Yes, yeah, Saint Peter. Saint Peter. Was there more in that second uh first Peter two? Uh I believe so. All right, so that was verse 15. This is verse 16. As free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of the most high. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear the most high, honor the king. I was about to grab that too. That's the spirit. Go ahead. You <laughs> got one more time, Mark. All right, this is First Peter chapter 2 and verse 17. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear the most high, honor the king. That's like Sir, our model right now. You know what I'm saying? That's the model of our brotherhood. Is that we are, we're honoring all men. We ain't out here robbing. We ain't out here, uh, you know, taking people's shit. We're out here working, trying to have something while we wait, Right? But then also, we, we love the brotherhood. This, this is our purpose. This is our whole purpose of existing. Everything else is extra. So we try, to find any opportunity, we try to find any opportunity to kick it, man. Because this this is all we really got. Because don't nobody understand us like the brothers understand us, man. Try to talk to your woman about it. That bitch don't know what's going on. 
You can't talk to your family about it because you told them you don't eat pork no more and they think you're a Muslim or some shit. You see? And the only ones who really understand how we think and how our mindset is and what we're longing for is the men that your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh surrounded us by, man. I mean, sh surrounded us with. You see that? You know? Uh, 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 just go down to... Uh... What is it? That, that should be about it. I, I got one. Go ahead, Jacob. Go on. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2 reads, Preach the word of power. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. And see, that's, that's what this society doesn't want. It doesn't want you to correct and rebuke and chastise your brother. But that's actually what the word bully when you look up the word bully, it means brother. Because when you're roughing up your brother, it's so that he can protect himself, take care of himself. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ear wants to hear. Right, and they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that they have to get in order and that there is an order or that there might be someone over them or that they have to, you know, not do something that they want to do. So that's why really the elect, we're, we're actually the most faithful men on earth, not by choice, but by the Lord choosing us, not because we chose anything, but because the Lord chose us to be these vessels. That's why we're considered holy. And precious because we believed on him and he's dealing with us. That's what makes us precious. And that's why it also says that you're supposed to look at another brother and literally see him better than yourself because that you he's like yeah, how we say it's just like he's supposed to look at you in the same fashion. You see? This one more. Go ahead. Con. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. Myths. Right, which we see that happening, all these false prophets. But the reason that they they don't understand is because the Holy Spirit isn't with them. It's no shock to us. We already understand, you know, that they don't understand, and really, they're set up by the Lord to move them that are unbelieving out of the way. This is only for the believing, for them that have faith. If you don't have faith, there's no room for you here, you know. Uh, what do you brothers to grab a was it John? I uh, got a precept, but John what? Uh, thirteen, and I need thirty thirty one to thirty five. I think I now was holding one. All right, go ahead, brothers. We already got the precept. Nah. I got a quick one. I got a real quick one. Proverbs 17 and 17, it says, A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. For adversity. Right? For what? For support. For backup. For helping you when you fall down to help you up. Or when you get too high to knock you down to humble you. See? We we need those brother the brotherhood because iron sharpens iron. Iron sharpens another piece of iron. Those are two brothers working together, and there's going to be friction. But if that brother, if the two brothers are moved by the Holy Spirit, eventually it's going to make them sharper. See. Hey, let me grab this real quick. This is a. Uh... This is Ecclesiastes 4 and uh, 9. It says, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth. For he have not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. And how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And that threefold cord cord is not quickly broken. So it shows you that it's strength in numbers, man. There ain't no such thing as a lone wolf. You know, brothers got, you know, different spirits, but we're supposed to be in that spirit of being together. 
you know, and we know brothers got families and other things you got going on. We ain't trying to say be around brothers 24 seven, but that should make up more of your time, man. You know, because that, that builds a bond that builds that camaraderie that builds that, that, uh, that trust amongst the body, the, uh, 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 uh brothers keeps you in the spirit. It keeps you like, how y'all said, it keeps you sharp because what are we doing? Yeah. We, when we get together, we talk about, Things of folly, but guess what that folly leads to? It leads us talking about back to the spirit. Cause we'll be like, any bitches and shit. Da, 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 da. Like, this is why we need the, you know what I'm saying? This is why we need the order of the Lord put back in the earth. See if the laws are kept, because it always goes back to some type of spiritual talking that keeps you in the spirit, man. So that's why being around brothers is the most important thing. Because when you're around two-third niggas, you ain't talking about nothing like that. Niggas, they they, they can't comprehend righteous. You tell the motherfucking the word that you don't sleep with another man's woman, and he'll look at you like you got 10 here, like you said something wrong. You see, right. so they can't understand the righteousness that we're ta uh, partaking in, or the 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 vision the Most High has given us to see a world that we're in dwell of righteousness. So that's why it's so important to stay amongst the body, the, the the brothers, so you can continue on in that same spirit. And that gives a those conversations we have that sparks videos, all type of things. I Man, that 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 spark that sparks ideas that you can meditate on, and it just keeps you in that spirit, man. Because if you are just by yourself, man, that shit, hey, you know, like it just said, yep. it says what? Uh, woe to him that is alone, man, when he falleth. Because you ain't got nobody to lean on, you got nobody to talk to, you know what I'm saying? We fuck up, we slip up, man, we can talk to brothers and tell our brothers, like, the shit we got going on, man, you know, so that helps. So yep. that's why it's important to be amongst the brothers, man. Even uh, when we go to camp, there's times where you don't feel good, but then once you get into camp and then we're leaving camp, you feel good, bro. It's just uh -huh. like the like, like the precious stones, you know. If you the stones, they were they actually make you feel good sometimes. The gold, right? Different sure. different kinds of stones they give you certain kind of vibrations, and that's how the elect men are. Look, we're all like be... precious stones. That, those little moments you have a cap, man, it make you forget about everything else you're going through. And just like, man, we were the brothers that bring the piece upside and you just feel good, man. But I have uh, uh, I got a I got a quick point to make. Yes, bro. I looked up, I just looked up the word brother and one of the one of the other definitions says uh, a a religious a male or a religious male. And um in Spanish, there's a there's a word compa, and it means close friend. Which it goes back to like camp, you know, we're all at the camp together, the brothers, and the camp is it goes back to, uh, you know, like a camp of, like a uh, soldiers, you know. So, just wanted to bring that that point. Um, Kumpa, is it means a close friend in Spanish, but it goes back to camp. So the brothers are all in the camp, you know. Uh, so if I can say that's what the word champion means. When you look up the word champion, it means in a camp. And when a man goes to camp to train, what does he go? He goes with his brothers that are of the same knowledge of the same sport. You see? That's why uh, in Rocky, you had Creed. And Rocky and Creed had a, a unity, right? Even though they were uh, of different shades of color and background, it was the boxing that they had the uh, common ground. See, and they Slightly. built a brotherhood. Just like the military, the first before you even are fully initiated into the military, you have to go through what boot camp, so you can build up camaraderie amongst your your peers and build up that bond and that trust that you need. Especially like those infantry units and those special forces units, you go through those camps and y'all go through the same struggles together. That's supposed to make you closer because y'all going through the same afflictions, you going through the same hardships. Uh, it tells you that in the scriptures, uh, uh, knowing that these same tribulations, you see. Are happening to your brothers in the world. So that's why we go, you know what I'm saying? We are part of this camp. So we all go through the same things. If not, you know, it ain't the same thing all the time. But you know, we we understand, we can understand where brothers coming from. That that affliction you go through, that those ups and downs, those fights you have to fight and endure, you know? Right. Because that, that builds up the body, man. Right. And it's okay for all the brothers to have different likes, you know, and dislikes. But every brother is moving on a righteous vibration. We're all unique, but we're all moving as a body in the spirit of prophecy. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. We all don't have, you know, everybody eats the same thing. All everybody likes the same thing. We all like one uh -huh. color. 
You know what I'm saying? We all, we're all different, but we come together as tightly fitted as a body. The, the most know? important thing is we in the same spirit. We believe the same thing. We have the same God. We have our, the same Savior. And there's no there's no uh, differences in our doctrine. That's what makes us one, man. Just like that makes the uh, the Most High Yahweh Shah one. We are here just like Yahweh Shah came before us to do the will of our Father, man. You see? Why that John for you? Yeah, bro. You said 13, right? Uh, John 13 and 13. 34. Yeah. It's, uh, John 13 and 34 says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love, that you love one another. It's like it. Let me read that over. John, 14, uh, John 13 and 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if you have love one to another. Right, and he shows the love because uh, we don't have to get it, but in the couple verses above, they Yahweh Shai is about to be sacrificed. So he's actually speaking this to his apostles. You know, this is the act of love, pretty much, is to lay your life down for your brothers. If it needs, so be. You see? And that's really what we're doing in the spirit by living for this truth. We're, we're letting go of our dreams, whatever vain dream we may have had. And now our dream is to see, you know, we want to see the brethren, including ourselves, make it. You know, that's all uh -huh. we care about. We want to see, you know, each other on the chariot. That's really what we want to see. You know, I mean, it's cool. You know, if a brother was to get any physical success here in the world, hey, you know, it's good. But, you know, all the brothers that are in this truth know what to do when that happens. But the greater success is to see us together with Yahweh Bashim Shai in righteousness, you know? Because what, we, what, we fight, what we're fighting for as a body is beneficial to, to everyone that's in the body. Everything that we're fighting for is what the Most High wants for us. And we know that the Most High, he knows better than we do, man. You know, Jake, Jake really don't get it. Jake really feel like they're winning on this side by just selling out and going with Esau and getting some temporary gain. But we know and understand that the most I has an expected will uh, end for us. And we know that expected end is beneficial for the entire nation, beginning with the remnant, you see? So that's what we're fighting for. We want to see all the brothers win, just like Yahweh shot before us, man. He did what he did so all his brothers could win. So now we're, here we are, you see, bearing out cross every day doing these videos, going on the highways and byways, you know that, professing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because what? We want to see our nation win, man. We want to see the brothers win. We want to see the brothers out of this low condition and back with their families and, and got full control over their households and, you know, just all the bullshit we suffer here in this, in this whack-ass captivity. We want to see all our brothers taken from that, man, and, and, and be in a good estate, you know, according to what the Most High has promised, man. That's what even what Paul, Apostle Paul said. My hope is that Israel be saved. But what's he say? Not all Israel is of Israel. You know, that's the reality of it, and we mm -hmm. understand it. Gosh. But for the brothers that do believe, hey, we're, you know, if we're any of the brothers, hey, we know and we hope to be of the elect, that means we're going to do the things that the elect are to do, just like enduring. We got to stay diligent elect. and enduring. <laughs> Oh, the brother, uh, I'm on. I'm on. I got one. Hey, this is uh, real quick. This is uh, Matthew chapter 12, starting at verse 46. I'm going to redo it kind of quickly. It says, While he yet talked to the people, talking about Yahweh Shai, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, That told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. So that's the true family. God, and if, if I could say, uh, John, I think it's John 17, Yahweh Shai, he, when he said, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, he was talking about the brotherhood, you know. He was talking about his men, 
that Yahweh had given him. Um, and really quick, I got a precept here in First uh, Peter. And Halakia kind of paraphrased it earlier. But it's First Peter um, 5, and I'll start at 8 and 9. It says, be sober, be vigilant, be, be vigilant, vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeing whom he may devour, whom resists is steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Ah, that's it. Mm -hmm. and that's why we feel good when we come together. You know, we're, we're all going through the same stuff. But guess what? We, we, we overcome it to be able to make it count. That's an overcoming this week. <clears throat> Doing these videos, you know, you hear a brother's video build you up, you know? So, uh, I I got uh, one more to request. It's Psalms 133. One, I'm holding two, that. I'm holding that. I was, yeah, was going to bring it up. Let me grab this one first, though. This is, uh, this is John 6, no, 15 and 12. It says, this is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. So that 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 just proves the mo if you don't have a hundred percent truth, you're no friend to Yahweh Shah. Right. Because Yahweh Shah told his brothers, let me get that word for friend real quick, real quick. This uh John, I, even, even in a, a wealthy family, even in a poor family. There's certain information that the the child the son has more than someone that's just visiting the house, right? They know where stashes are. They know secrets. Well, that's what the hopeful elect are. We're the sons, and the Lord has given His secrets. He has shown the prophets what He's doing through His son. Yeah, I was shy. Go ahead, brother. Let's see what we got. So like it. So I was I was in the right spot. I so it goes on the it goes on the uh uh Philos for the word for friend. It says friend to be friendly to one, wish him well, a friend and associate. He who associates familiar uh fam familiar familiarity with one a companion. One of the bridegroom's friends who on his behalf asked the hand of the bride and rendered him various services in closing the marriage and celebrating the nuptials. But it shows you that it's, it's a close relationship. Right, and it said bridegroom, Yahweh is the bridegroom, and it said that the friend is the one watching out for the bride for the sake of the bridegroom. Just That's like the right. Apostle Paul. Yeah. I have spied, I have spied you onto one husband. Mm hmm you see? So we're really at, looking out for the John bride. The Baptist too. John the Baptist, too. yep, yep. So how, how valuable is that friend that keeps your wife without sin? You know? If, if he's seen her walking down the street and he comes, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to go too far into it, but that's what the Lord's saying. Hey, we're, we're valuable men because we uh, love what he loves. Yep. Right now, right now, we're the, we're valuable. Because we're the ones that understand. Everybody else, you got all these other camps. They're busy occupied with bullshit, man. Yeah. You know, they're chasing the dollar that's about to fail. You know what I'm saying? Look at look at Nicki Minaj. Look at uh, all these superstars catching hell right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Y'all brothers holding anything? Yeah, I got, I got one. one. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um... First John chapter four, starting at verse seven. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of power, and everyone that loveth is born of power and knoweth power. For the eight reads. Uh he that loveth not knoweth not power, for power is love. 
9. And this was manifested, the love of power toward us, because that power sent his only begotten son into the world. Well, that, I mean, that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we love power, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation of our sins. The one more, which he was sacrificed for us. And that's the, that's the act of love that he showed us. Yahweh showed us love by giving up his only begotten son for our sake. And he, he died and he was resurrected and now he sits at the hand of the Father waiting to return and to receive us as a bride. Go ahead. Okay. Beloved, if power so loved us, we ought also to love one another. And if I can say, if, if you had a woman that you had to wait for, and you know you was about to get her. You know how anxious you wanted to come get her, right? So how much the Lord, you know what I'm saying? It says that he desires it more than us. You know, because we're not even in a in a righteous body yet. And he's in his complete glory. You know, he 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 desires us, you know? Good. No man has seen power at any time. If we love one another, power dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. There you go. Grab that Hebrews uh, 13 and 1. Hebrews, since you're reading. This is Hebrews chapter 13, starting at verse 1. Uh, Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Unawares. And really, you know, we talk about angels encamping around us, but the elect are the Allah the highest angels that existed with Yahweh Shai. You know, and that's what people don't realize who we are. If we are those men, which we hope to be those men, and if it ain't us, then who? By the, you know, just by what we've been doing over the years, right? And that's what's going to happen. A lot of people are not going to realize who we were until we're too late, and then they're going to realize there was a prophet amongst us. Go ahead, uh, Halaki, you got, or uh, I'm on Padat, you got a set, don't you? Nah, uh, this is Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. Owe no man anything, but, does somebody already get this one? Mm -hmm. All right, Romans 13 and 8. Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to read down. It says, for this thou shalt not commit adultery, Thou shalt not kill or you know, murder. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this, saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And your neighbor is your fellow Israelite. But do the Christians uphold that? Nah. Come on, man. They some cut throats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, uh, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. The false prophet is working ill to your neighbor. You know, and there's going to be a judgment for not being brotherly and loving <laughs> your neighbor. It's true. For those false prophets, we're showing love. We're, we're, we're stopping our day, and we're really doing it because Yahweh Shimei Oshai commanded us to. But we're stopping our day to stop and sit down with you and say, hey, this is what is required of you. This is what's required of us. This is just like what you would do with the son. If you ever, if you had sons or younger, you know, people in your family, if you love them, you're going to say, hey, don't do that. That's going to end up bad for you. Don't do this or do this. This is good for you. That's showing love. But when you got false prophets telling you uh, backward things and false philosophies, and lies and distracting you with chasing money and all this other shit. That's not love. Oh. That's hate. The Lord's going to show you hate when he returns. Uh, I got one. If you guys don't got any. Okay, this this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 27. And it just goes in on, because friend is his brother. But this is a, it says, and being, it's talking about wisdom, because the wisdom is, is, it enters into the souls of the brotherhood, you know, the prophets. It says, and being but one, she can do all things, and remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. 
and in all ages entering into holy souls, which those holy souls are the brothers, she maketh them friends of the Most High and prophets. Mm -hmm. That spirit is uh, the Holy Spirit. God. And then uh, I was looking at the etymology of that the word brother, and uh, it go in the in the in the Greek, it's it, it's fratar, which is P H R A T E R. That's where they get the word uh, for Latin also frater, which is nope. F R A T E R, which is this is like a fraternity. This is our fraternity of Yahweh Shai, right? We're the brothers of Yahweh Shai, but um, in Spanish. Yeah. And what is a fraternity? You know, they go to college. That's what we're doing right now. Practicing those righteous. And also on the etymology, it says that, you know, hermano in Spanish, it actually goes back to the Latin, which which was uh, Germanus, which means full brother. Oh, and then that word freighter in the Greek, P-H-R-A-T-E-R, which is similar to fraternity, like the, the Latin. But the P.H. Freighter one from Greek, it means one of the same tribe, which we're all, you know, through the spirit, different tribes, but we're all part of that same same uh, nation. So that, that word, hermano, in Spanish, what is that? That's brother? Yep. That's a spirit. Okay. Um, all right. Hermano, well, I this, yeah. I get this, uh... Psalms 133, if y'all brothers didn't have nothing else. You want to wrap it up on this, Kyle? Yeah, we can wrap it up on that. Oh, good. I got one really quick. I must be allowed to bring this one out. Okay. Yeah. So the importance of the brothers being together and communing with each other and breaking bread and having those spiritual conversations is very important, man. Because uh, it says right here in Romans 10, verse 17, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. And the brother mentioned we always constantly talking about the scriptures, man. That builds our faith up, even in small conversations. What we was doing yesterday, we was like walking around in the garden, God. and we was just talking about the land, uh, the land should buy, and how beneficial it would be if that was being upheld here in this current society with all this land, farming on the land for seven years, letting the land rest for a year. We was talking about that as we was like they found in the garden planting shit, man. Yeah, just off of that, you know. It always goes back to something spiritual when you're dealing with spiritual brothers, man. You see? You can't do that in the world. Can't do that in the world. Bro. Man, what the fuck you talking about, Lance? What the fuck that? Give me that black mom. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. Just... That was it on that one. That's it. Uh, it just reminded me of uh, Apostle Tahar. Uh, the uh, last camp, he was talking about how he talks about, you know, gets numbers. That's nah, like a yep. brother, little brother. How to get the number? You know what I'm saying? This is just yep. a big brother of one nation, Israel. Yep. You know. All right. So this is it right here. This is uh Psalms 133 and one. It says the song of degrees of David. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious not only dwell together, but dwell together in unity because we've seen guys who've been amongst us. We thought they was brothers, but they didn't believe fully in what we believe in. And guess what? The most high got rid of that shit from amongst the body and and and, and sold that little that uh that missing place up and brothers got tighter. You see? Guys who have been in the truth for for a decade and a half, all of a sudden you get to the end and you don't believe. In the doctrine. So guess what? You got to be removed because the only ones who can dwell over here are the ones who are believing in the full, you see, truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, dwelling in unity in the same spirit, man. You can't have a spirit opposed to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in the midst because, hey, we had that amongst our, our small group. You see, the most I was getting rid of guys who wasn't really in the spirit and, and believing, man. You see? Right. But hey, that's how it is. It says what? Psalms 133 and, tw and 2, it says, it is like the precious ointment upon the head that <laughs> ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. Hey, uh, um, I just thought about it because what you were reading about, you know, you have false brethren, uh, cancer. Cancer, it, it's your actual cells that are abnormal. It yep. says, 
Cancer is a group of diseases involving abnormal cell growth with the potential to invade and spread to other parts of the body. So, the so guess what? Doctrine. That false doctrine, that false spirit, you, you, you uh, backbiting and murmuring, and, and now y'all clicking up, and then all of a sudden they break off and start doing their own thing and preaching what? No false doctrine, but most I got rid of that cancer from amongst the body, so it won't be affecting the body. You see that? And that's why the most I has it be called out when guys are going off, when guys are trying to be sneaky, clicking up and doing all this extra shit. Most I puts the spotlight on them, gets them removed for the body, and the body grows stronger, man. And that's what you see in the most DMS, man. The most I is getting rid of all that cancer and, and and making this thing even tighter. And the brothers who are meant to be here, they're here pushing this word hard and heavy as we're supposed to be doing in the spirit, man. And in, in the same spirit in unity, man. Right. Did you have more of that? I think there's one more verse on there. Huh? Oh, yeah, verse three, I'm sorry. Verse three says, And the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Whew. So that's what we have to look forward to, brothers. If we endure right until the end, faithful as good soldiers. As God. good brothers, hey, we have life forevermore. Man, that's that's that, that's the blessing that's being commanded to come upon Zion, man. So it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We want to be those men, and we're God. in the right position to be those men. All we gotta do is stay steady in that movement of the Holy Spirit of prophecy in faith. You know, that's all we gotta do is examine ourselves every day. And know, know your purpose. Don't let nothing distract you. Be fully persuaded in your whole purpose on being on this earth. It ain't for fast cars. It ain't for beautiful women. But it ain't no problem that you have that. But your purpose in, and your life here is to, is to serve you how about Shimei Hashai by feeding his sheep. You know? Yep. That's all that I got. It. That was it. You got it. Wrap it up. So, all right. That was for the brothers, the elect brothers. You'll understand if you're an elect brother. But with that, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. So the honor is to our apostle elders, which is our older brothers that have been in this truth longer than us and taught us this truth. May you endure it to the end to all you brothers and hold this faith fast. Hold it fast. Let no man see your crown. And right. shalom to all you brothers. Wa Ababa Ba. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom to the elect. Ababa Ba.